Hey guys, long time no see. How's it going? Um, today we're going to be talking about some anti-debug methods. They're going to be only API calls, and to be honest, they're very simplified. But I thought I'd go through them, because, you know, not much of this stuff is on YouTube. So I thought I'd give it a go. Um, so yeah, so I built a little C program, and it's called Anti, and that's not ideal, I didn't want to press Enter twice, but K. Uh, we can see some tick count there, and also print out my super, super secret string instead of my secret program, for I can't even read, let's admit. So yeah, let's just show the program quickly. Basically, I just wanted to just do this top bit here. I thought about putting NT set information process and NT query information... And to be honest, I think a lot of that is really noisy. If you debug that as a reverse engineer, I know these are sort of, you know, is debugger present isn't the most hidden away API. It's a pretty obvious thing what it's about to do. But I mean, it's just, I don't know, I feel a little bit like NT set information process. Whenever you sort of include that, it's like, oh, there's some anti debugging. So. I don't know, I just it seemed like I'd just leave that for now. But um, yeah, it's a bit oversimplified. I'm just going to go over this. So I had to register the EAX because we read that in this. So output debug string. If you have a debugger on it, it will come to... Um, I think it's the pros... I don't know. The debugger value is different. It's, it's just different. I think it's like in the address space. I'm not fully sure. I feel like I should have started with that in the video, but you know, hey, you get to learn something by searching off. Anyway, so usually it comes to one to zero. So what I basically said is um, zero, I think is XP. And then from then Vista up, it's like one, I feel. I don't know why Windows decided to change the values. I'm not a fan of it. Anyway, so if, if EAX is larger than one, then we're obviously in a debugger, so return. Is debugger present just basically is an API call from Windows that allows us to see if a debugger is present. You also got a remote debugger, which checks for the port. That's sort of cool as well. Um, and also timing, um, debugger timing, understanding that. Looking over the recording and, and seeing me speak I'm, I'm wondering what's happened to me in in recent times because i literally can't speak by the looks of it because once you step in a debugger you actually get more time added on on the tick count obviously so that program flow there shouldn't be a lot of tick count so you just sort of um yeah you just take two values and see what's going on you can masquerade it a little bit more um, you know, I've got them exactly in the same place saying get tick count, get tick count. And you could be like, last input user, am I checking if they're away? But actually, I'm checking if they're stepping over and, you know, but um, quite a simple example. Um, it, to evade this, then obviously you put the same value, but you'd have to understand the logic behind the assembly. So let's have a little look at the actual assembly side of it. Have I dragged over the new version? I don't know. Let's find out. Um, so I'm using Ollie for this. I have moved away slightly for the moment away from immunity. I know some people may notice that. Also, um, I mean, you can't see it, but yes, I, oh, I do have a disgusting taskbar right now. It's fine. Every malware analyst has it. It's, it's cool. Anyway, so if we look at it and see here. Okay, uh, so this, basically we don't need to see anything else except from here. So if we just step into this. Um, out people output debug string we'll see a little bit of a debug string here and we'll see the eax value that it's returned with the return value which is always eax has come back with us 22 fc 8 um that's not what we want so what we get is that debugger is detected output debug string so how do we evade this well obviously i've already said this i've already ruined it for you but let's run it again what we do is we could knock it out, I guess, but we can also just simply change it to a zero. And we can see also the comparison there, but that doesn't really matter. We don't need to know about that. So we take the jump. Is debugger present? That will return a one. Yes, it does, because we're in debugger. So what do we do? We change it to a zero. <laughs> um, so that's another anti-debugger method done. Um, there's, there's actually ways of doing it before we even hit it, so we don't even have to patch it during what am I doing? So we can just uh, knock this out. This this is just is debugger present here. That's fairly well known. You can do that for um, output debug string as well if you really want, but or you can change the return value to always be something else. Um, 
But, you know, it's good to learn. The way, the reason why I made this video is because I, I feel like people just go on to uh, plugins and then I haven't even got it on this one and then an anti-debug and that's it. But what happens if they do it in a different way? Like there's different ways that you can do output debug string. There's different ways that you can do set unhandled, um, set unhandled exception filter. Um, there's, I didn't show that on this because I, I want to do simple bits. It's like five minutes in already. I talk way too much in my videos. I apologize, but it's just how I am. So yeah, um, there's just different ways of doing it. And so you should sort of know what's going on anyway. So if I get the tick count of this, um, and then, da -da, uh, oh no, wait, we need to print both, don't we? Oh, amateur hour, isn't it? Okay, so we can see here we've got different values. Um, so once it compares, it'll notice that hang about this. This shouldn't be this. It, we shouldn't go to the super secret string um, because it's not actually the comparison between the two aren't correct. Um, and so, what do we need to do? Well, we either run it. So obviously, this will. We can change the, um, the flag here. So it can, it doesn't go, but that's a little bit annoying. We could also just break point. We could also just break point. I've just done that for the purposes, but that's also slowed us down here. Let's run it again. Um, okay. Oh, slowed us down monumentally here. I apologize. Um, could have just patched these. Oh, no, that's no, fine. Um, oh, there we go. Nearly mistake. Uh, okay, so what we do here is we can actually just run from there, run from the breakpoint, and what do we get? In the we get the exact same tick count because that point we are not actually we're not actually going over it, stepping over it, are we? So that's good. That's a good thing. Um, as I can say, <laughs> it's a little bit obvious. Um, we are getting the tick count twice in the space of three lines, but. Anyway, um, and of course with that we get our super secret string, which will obviously would have been our, um, our program flow. Um, and that's some really simple anti-debugger methods. Um, if you enjoyed this or if you want to see more of this, give me a comment down below. Subscribe obviously, there's always going to be content on here. I know I've slowed it down a little bit, but this is because I work quite hard on finding stuff like this and I've got other things going on and it's great, but yeah. Um, so if you enjoyed it, then put it down below. I did take notice of your guys' comments, um, especially Wardo, who said, you know, I'm pretty sick of you analyzing .NET. And so I gave this a go, um, and I'll, I'll build it up a little bit if you guys are interested. Um, so yeah, I do take notice. I do understand what you're saying there. Um, sometimes I find like that's sort of funny, and so that's why I do it. Um, but you know, obviously it's, it comes down to moderation. And so yeah, I understand where you guys are coming from. Um, and that's why I've changed it a little bit. Anyway, so I'll see you guys in the next video. Um, and yeah, enjoy what you're doing for the rest of the day. Hopefully seeing the rest of my videos. Anyway, bye.